There it is. It's a sight many in this country and in Cuba thought they might never see. It's just a symbol, but what a symbol. Yes, this is Washington, D.C., and yes, that's the flag of Cuba. Not seen in these parts for decades, at least not as it was today, proudly atop the flagpole at the freshly reopened Cuban embassy. Viva Cuba Libre! Inside, making his first ever trip to the U.S., Cuba's foreign minister, Bruno Rodriguez. Para afirmar que hoy se abre la oportunidad. Relations between the two countries from now on, he said, will be quite different than whatever happened in the past. The Cuban government, he underlined, is fully committed to that. It's been a complicated half century for these two. Back in the day, Americans and their money poured into Cuba. But when Fidel Castro took over in the late 50s, commandeering all property, that ended. And when he cozied up to the Soviets, the U.S. tried to push him from power, but neither physical nor economic force worked. And the two countries spent the rest of the century, in effect, glaring at each other. Diplomatic relations ended, the U.S. cut off its Cuban trade and travel, and the place became a kind of time capsule. So when Barack Obama noted 50 years of sniping had changed little, change followed. Today's flag ceremony signals under Obama hitting the restart button. It does reflect the, the reality that the Cold War ended long ago and that the interests of both countries are better served by engagement than by estrangement. Still, the trade and travel restrictions remain in place, at least for now. As for diplomatic relations restarting, opinions on that outside the embassy today were, as ever, divided. Say some, it's a start. Everything that happened today is happening for the good of the people. It's better for the Cuban people and for the United States of America. I wish this were a glorious day in that there were no more Castro in Cuba and that all our political prisoners that have died and are still in prison were freed. Soon, Diana, the U.S. flag will fly outside the American embassy in Havana, which also reopened today. For now, though, it's Cuba's red, white, and blue that stands as the symbol change has come. It's quite a moment.